So TLC3 is out and we have two brand new redesigned creatures. The Mammoth and the Stego. I've already done a video showing off a bunch of the stuff that they can do, but what I have not done is show off how to tame them. Now, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be relatively similar, but these guys are gonna be way more dangerous than before. And uh, of course we have our new little uh, chibi pet, our little Noggle just chilling with us here. Guys, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. And um, yeah, check out some of the other videos that we've been doing over the last few days because uh, we've been doing a lot of extra life stuff. We did a bunch of streams and we raised over $22,000. Thank you, by the way, you guys are awesome. And uh, Wildcard actually raised uh, 175k, which is just incredible. Like, that is just ridiculous. Like, we raised so much money. Everybody just chipped in, and it was a really great time for the community. But they also revealed so much new stuff, and uh, we did some videos on that stuff. Anyway, let's get on to what we need to do. So I over I've already, like, tamed some of these creatures. Like, we, we tamed these guys a couple episodes ago. So let's just chuck them out and take a little look. What I do want to do, of course, is go out and tame some more because I want to see what it's like. You know, it's... Oh, my God, that one's pretty. That, we don't have any mutations or anything. That's just a natural green? Dude, that's dope. What? Ah, uh, is that... Maybe that's an event color one. I don't remember it being green like that, though. Very cool. Uh, what's this? Oh, that's a Tenonicus. Oops. Uh, that's usually where I have my gun thingy. Go ahead and, and pick up this dude. Um, let me see. There we go. Come on. Uh, we got a couple more Stegos. I think we tamed, like, three or four... No, yeah, we tamed three Stegos. And they were all pretty high levels. Okay. That green one, though, looks really cool. Um, so, of course, they have their brand new abilities. In this video, I think we might actually go for the Mammoth instead. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and just check out our Mammoth. So, we have two of them. We tamed two high levels. I think a male and a female, if I'm correct. And there's our other one. He is too fat. There we go. Boom! Oh, yeah. He's got a saddle on and everything. I think this is a good saddle as well. Yeah, Journeyman. All right, so, um, yeah, let's, uh, oh, this one here's got some nice little colors there. It's got some yellow mixed in with some brownie kind of orangey colors. I like that. That is nice. Um, we will, of course, be doing mutations on these guys at some point, but, uh, yeah, give me, give me a little bit. We'll work on something like that. We'll definitely work on just a crazy mammoth army if they are really good. And the stegos are already pretty good as well, so we might actually work on that at some point. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get going. Let's go find a, you know what? I should probably grab some fur armor. That would be a great idea. Uh, let me see. Do I actually have any in here? Fur. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I've got one piece. That's probably gonna be enough because that's a pretty good piece, and I have a good amount of fortitude. Well, not a huge amount, but it's probably going to be okay. Uh, just so I don't have to bother trying to craft more, let's just go ahead and fly. And what am I doing? I should be flying on the wyvern. He's way faster. All right, so let us fly over to the north, which is, like, way over here. It's all just white, and, uh, yeah, we can find some mammoths up there. I believe we can also find them over there, actually. But you know what? Actually, let's... Hmm. No, let's head up this way. Let's head up this way. So, uh, one thing I really quickly wanted to mention is that we forgot our kibble. Let's go back. Um, I wanted to mention this because this has been something that I've been working on for such a long time. Like, literally thought about this, like, over a year ago. Started kind of somewhat working on it about a year ago. And, um, finally ready to kind of show it off to you guys. Um, we've launched, uh, I wouldn't really call it merch. Uh, I don't really think of it as merch. We've kind of just launched a, um almost like a little clothing company um so basically what what the idea was is that um i i've always liked having merch right and i've always liked you know uh getting all these cool designs that are like references to the channel and stuff but i took a bit of a step back and i realized like all of this stuff is cool and you know you guys are gonna really enjoy it at least most of you um but i would kind of like something that maybe people who don't even know who i am potentially might like so what I did was uh, I started coming up with some cool designs and I got an artist involved and we just kind of concepted a bunch of stuff. And this is the first drop of designs uh, with my brand new um, company, I guess, Extinct Apparel. Um, so we've got four new designs in this first drop and um, they're not going to be limited, I don't think. I think we're going to keep them up for probably years. I don't know. So you're not really like pushed to try and pick one up now if you definitely want one uh although i do want to mention the first 100 orders can use code launch day to get 10 percent off and i've already seen a bunch of orders come through not all of them are actually using the code for some reason so thank you i guess but um 
yeah, uh, thank you for all the support so far. I announced this on my Discord and Twitter and other places, but I wanted to let you guys know here as well. So check it out if you're interested. Um, I really would appreciate it because I've been working really hard on it. And uh, yeah, let's get into the mammoth taming because it's going to take a little bit to fly over here. I'll just skip to when we're there. So we should start to see some mammoths here in a second. Um, I do believe there's like just a bunch of them over in this area right ahead of us. That's where we tamed them a few episodes ago. Um, so let's see. Let me get down here a little bit. This area is a little bit dangerous though because we do have rock uh, or I guess ice elementals just chilling everywhere. But yeah, we've got a couple mammoths. There they are. Oh man, look at these guys. So we're going to look for a high level, of course, to tame. They look really nice. They got some nice colors. This one's got some blue. Damn. All right. Let's see. What do we got over here? We got some more. A bunch of rhinos. God, yeah, these guys look really good. I like it a lot. Um, Let me land down so I can spyglass a little easier. So we've got level 30. Oh, that's a 180. All right. I guess we'll go for that one. Uh, We probably should try and kill all the other ones first, though. I'm a little bit curious, like, how dangerous are these guys actually going to be? Let's go fight this level 18 first. One thing I actually have to point out is that uh, Wyverns did get a nerf with this uh, TLC QOL update. Um, this guy, I think, I think he had 15k health. So that just kind of gives you a little bit of an idea. Um, let's see. How strong are you? Oh, oh, that's his thing. What does that do? Intimidation. Out. Oh, so I can't do as much damage now. I like that. And it's got like a little uh, thing above my head there, little stars. I've got them on my character and my wyvern. Interesting. So I actually haven't seen that before. Uh, obviously, I haven't had a chance to actually uh, check that out because, yeah, um, we haven't been out in the wild with these dudes. Let's see. Let me go ahead and eat these guys. So, yeah, mammoths are going to be a little bit more dangerous now. And damage output reduction. So that means that, uh, I don't know. I reckon they could probably be pretty good against bosses in that case. If you use that, then your your army won't take as much damage. I wonder if it's actually a sizable um, amount. That's the thing I'm curious about right now. Let's go ahead and destroy these guys. They're going to roar on me, I'd say. There we go. So yeah, uh, if that's actually a good amount of uh, of reduction, we could probably start bringing mammoths into boss arenas. I don't know. That would be great, actually. I'd love that. Just a new creature for the boss arenas. So I think we've kind of cleared out this area. Let's go ahead and start tranking this mammoth. I wonder if they've got, like, more... Um, I don't know if they've, like, messed around with the stats on these guys at all. We're going to have to... Um, I guess figure that out as we go. What are you doing? Why are you walking away? No! What are you doing? Stop that! <laughs> Don't do that! You're not in like passive flee or something, are you? No? Okay. I was. Okay, there we go. We have our thing. Does that affect my guns though? I don't think it would. Probably wouldn't. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, he actually, he does a, some decent damage as well. I mean, it's not a bad amount. I'm a little bit curious though. I kind of want to see if it will grab me. Should we try that? I mean, hmm. I might end up dying. If I do die... Oh, wow. My wyvern turned, like, red for a second there. That was weird. Uh, if I do die, then it's it's in the name of science. So let's see if it will grab me. All right. So we did 60 that time right there. I want to see. Come on. Grab me. Come on. Do it. Grab me. Okay. I don't want to get hit by that one. All right. Oh, oh yeah. He's breaking my stuff. And now my chest piece is gone. That means that I won't be able to save myself if uh, I do get grabbed. So I guess we're not going to try that just because now I don't have a way of... Uh, of flying around these guys seem a little bit slower right now or is that just me they do seem just slightly slower definitely more menacing though i mean like god damn that thing looks awesome oh oh it's doing this thing i thought it was about to get knocked out for a second all right we're also going to be able to check out the taming hood in action here yeah i'm doing less damage look at that hmm that's interesting i didn't think that would work for weapons wow okay uh, yeah, we're going to be able to check out the new Taming Hood, uh, obviously, when we get this thing knocked out, because it, it's it's awesome. I mean, I think it's a great idea for them to do something like that. Uh, it definitely fits with some of the stuff that they've been doing recently with Ark. So, um, yeah, I'm just waiting. They're going to eventually probably give us a Helena that we can just bring around to every map and scan creatures with. I guarantee that's going to happen. All right, so we got it knocked out. Um, how's your Torpor, then? I mean, I don't... That kind of looks normal. I don't think that's been changed at all. This one has a lot of food. 
So uh, Mammoth's take the superior kibble, I think. If it doesn't, it's going to eat it anyway. And I think it's probably going to take like 15 pieces because we tamed some a few videos ago and I believe it was that amount. Look at the bottoms of the feet though. I mean, yeah, I really like this new model. I got to say, they did a really good job. Ooh, that is, uh, that's not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have to do the ultimate check, though. Does it still have a visible butthole? No, it does not. They've taken away the butthole. The butthole has been nerfed on the mammoth, as you can see. Not there anymore. <laughs> that was always, like, a, a big thing with the mammoths. I mean, like, they literally had a butthole. I don't know what to tell you. Like, they just had one. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> they don't have one anymore. I mean, they do, but it's hidden. It's it's behind all that that fur um but anyway yeah this thing looks dope although i can see it's it's fur is kind of like messed up right there i'm not sure what that's all about maybe something to do with the tail i don't know either way though fur looks great uh mammoth in general looks great definitely really good tlc um yeah i'm loving this this guy looks dope all right let's check out the taming hood then so we have it right here um i don't know if there's a hotkey for that i'll have to look into that but uh, right here, we got it like at the very top of your inventory. We've got tame groups, taming uh, list, and we can see every creature that you've knocked out will be in here. So, of course, we have our mammoth right here. It shows me all of its uh, little useful stats. So taming effectiveness, your progression, its unconscious meter, of course, its level and its uh, gender as well. And... You can see it just popped up there. We've also got the food and then, or that's the health. We've got the health and then the food. I was looking at the food when I was pointing at the health. And then, um, yeah, we've got the little picture right here. Now, what we could do is we can click and just track it. And it's going to show me, you know, you can see it at the bottom of my screen right there. It's going to show me wherever I am on the map where this thing is. Obviously, the little icon's getting smaller because I'm further away. But when I look at it, if I look at it right now, there we go. If you look right at that little symbol, it might be easier if you kind of like point at it with a weapon. Just don't shoot, you know. Right there, we can see uh, the stats and everything, the little pop-up. So that is a great change. That is super nice. I, I can't wait to never, you know, lose track of where a team potentially is. I love that. Um, some ways that they can maybe improve something like this is maybe also adding in some stats of how many pieces of food it's going to eat or something like that. Um, definitely a great start for a brand new little system. I honestly love that. And it works, you know, on multiple creatures. If you have tons of creatures knocked out, you can just track them all. You can untrack them all in here. It's going to be great. And yes, I do realize I need to eat some foods. Let's go ahead and do that. Anyway, uh, we're just going to chill here for a bit because, um, yeah, this guy's going to take a little bit to tame up or this girl. Um, and then we're going to head back to base with it and maybe, you know what, let's do just a little bit of breeding. We won't do any mutations, but let's at least breed them and check out what the baby looks like. So I'm a little curious, actually. Can we pounce on these guys? And oh my god, look at those red tusks. Those are obviously from the, uh, the event. <laughs> the little, um, what do you call it? The Halloween event. Let's see. We can still pounce on the mammoth. Very nice. I wonder, actually, i got to check and see if it's uh, pick up a ball with a wyvern now. It's probably not. I wouldn't really bet on that, but uh, I think that would be cool. And as you can see, look at that. The freaking taming hood thing. Oh, it's so cool. I love that. I really do. That is... Oh, I'm just so happy with this feature. And I can even check it from here. My god. All right. Let's see. Um, Let me see. Where's my wyvern? There it is. Boom. And let me pick up this uh, dude over here. Well, I guess at least try to do it. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to do this. Probably not, but... Oh, we cannot. Okay, cool. Yeah. Had a feeling that we wouldn't be able to. We weren't able to before. I wonder if a Quetzal can still pick it up. I would imagine it probably can. I don't really see them making that change, but uh, yeah. We're still waiting on this thing to tame. It's obviously going to take a good bit because it's going to want a bunch of kibble from me. But uh, yes, we're just... I guess, you know what? I'll bring you guys back when we're back at base. Yeah, and we'll start breeding. All right, so we're back at base, and unfortunately, our new mammoth over here is not better than our current one. So I'm just going to get these two breeding. We're going to obviously wait for the baby to pop out and raise just one baby. I don't really want to go for, like, anything crazy here today. Uh, we don't really, like, we have good stats. They're not insane, though. I really want to, at some point, tame just a ton of mammoths, and then, you know, obviously we can kind of sort through them and get all the best stats into the one mammoth line, and then, you know, do our whole mutation stacks and stuff. Um, I'm actually kind of curious what's going to be really useful to pump on them. I mean, I would probably just say, like, health and melee. I mean, like, their stamina is probably pretty good. I don't really know. We're going to have to just take a little look at these guys. We might need to pump some stamina in as well, but uh, weight and everything is probably going to be amazing. 
Um, I'm actually just curious, though. Let me grab that saddle, and where's my dodic? Is it in? It's probably inside of one of these benches here. Yeah, here we go. I want to see if I can pick up the dodic with the mammoth, because if we can, then we potentially can just automatically farm using the mammoth and the dodic. So let's go ahead to pick things up. You hit right click. Uh, okay, I picked up the Jaboa. Uh, let me just go ahead and toss him right there. No, please don't go too far. By the way, that admin thing popping up is just this ball. Um, let me see. Can I not pick up the Dodic? Ah, oh, you can't. Oh, that's disappointing. That would have been so good if you could, because then you could, you know, you could obviously just, like, chill around and, uh, and just carry the Dodic around to the different rocks and everything. I'm curious, though, like, is there anything out here that I can grab? Can I grab this kangaroo? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that you can't grab this guy. You can't even pick up the Procoptodons or anything like that anymore. So, probably can't do this. Yeah, thought so. What about an Anki? Can I pick up an Anki? I really doubt it, but it's worth a try. So, yeah, we can't really pick up too much stuff. We can, obviously, pick up the uh, Ovis here and go ahead and... Oh, my God, wait, what? I hit the wrong button there, and that just completely... That looked really strange. Wait, look at this. I have him I have him in the trunk and I'm hitting C. What about when I like attack and stuff when he's in here? Does that hurt him? Oh that does! So you could use this to uh go ahead and kill creatures by just picking them up. I didn't actually think about that. And then what about this? That also works as well. Nice! Okay! I like that. I really do actually. That's pretty amazing. And then obviously you can hold down right click or hit right click to throw them like that. Just to throw them too far, but it's decent. So, um, I don't know, you know what? Like, the fact that you can pick them up like that and and uh, just, like, do the little roar to make them do less damage and then obviously kill them while they're in there is pretty amazing. I like that a lot. Boom, dead. All right, let's see. So, I want to hit up some of these trees over here and just see how good this mammoth actually is. So, there's our thatch with left click for right click or for uh, wood even, you have to hit space. There we go. And then I do believe left click's also good for berries. Yeah, there we go. So the mammoth's always been pretty good for gathering wood and, and berries and thatch and all that good stuff. So um, I think the best place to bring a mammoth, if you've got one, is to the swamp, probably on the island or anywhere else, I suppose. But the island swamp is fantastic for it. Put them onto a raft, just swim them around, or not swim them around, just sail them around the uh, the swamp and then just um, hit up all the little swamp trees because those things are fantastic for all the resources Maybe we'll go to the swamp here in Val. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, this map is obviously pretty amazing. Let's just see how we are with that baby, though. I'm going to put it away just because they're really big and we have just a tiny little base spot here. By the way, I do still plan, of course, on, um, it, you know, building a proper big base. I just didn't want to jump straight into it. Oh, I think we had triplets. Okay, and you're still pregnant. So there we go. Um, I guess we could sort that. You know, this is a little bit controversial. Um, you know what? Let's not do that. <laughs> Let me go ahead and claim one of these guys. So they are absolutely adorable. Look at that. Look at that little baby. Oh my God. The tiny little tusks are just ridiculous looking. Can I pick up the babies actually using the mammoth? I wonder if that's a thing. I want to see. I want to, I need to know. I need to know. <laughs> I need answers. Let me see. Come on. Can I pick up the babies? Oh, you can! Oh my god! What? You can actually pick up the babies! That's pretty useful. You could probably use the mammoth to like move the babies around. Or, you know, those those times when like the baby gets stuck in the in the mom's butt, I guess. Uh, you can go ahead and just grab it with a mammoth. Damn. Alright, well you know what? We uh we claimed this one, right? We're not gonna claim either of the other two. Um I'll dispose of them myself. Uh <laughs> So yeah, let me let me go ahead and do that. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh god, it's awful. I know, I know. I'm the worst. Yeah, there goes one. <laughs> oh man. I'm so I'm just this is not okay. They're like brand new and oh he's getting away. Alright, whatever. It's fine. We've just we're too cramped up here. This is ridiculous. Alrighty, so yeah, let me just go ahead and deal with you. Oh, you know what? This one over here is actually a better level. So I guess we're gonna get rid of this one. Alrighty, so we have our little mammoth baby, and uh, its tusks are kind of hard to see because they're a dark color. But yeah, that's that's absolutely adorable. We need to get you some berries, buddy. Sorry, I've completely forgotten. 
Uh, let me see. I'll just give it a bunch of magic berries. And I guess I can chuck back my kibble before it starts spoiling even more. We've got some berries inside the trough, so this should be good for the moment. Let me see. All right, so... Yeah, um, I, I gotta say, I love the little baby model. Oh, okay, well, that's really cute. I like that a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna raise this thing up and imprint it, of course, and um, then I guess we're gonna see what an imprinted mammoth can do because it's probably gonna be pretty amazing, actually. So, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in a little bit. And here we are, ready for a cuddle. Let's go ahead and do it. Boom. Ah, oh, oh, look at you. <laughs> oh man it's a little bit bloody actually i went afk but uh it should be good i mean like there is food inside the trough so obviously it's just not uh eating quick enough but um yeah that's uh that's really cute look at you little guy let me see if i got some veggie cakes actually yeah here we go we got some if we need those when it's fully grown all righty so you know what i wanted to just show off at least one cuddle i'll see you guys when it's fully grown up all right, so our mammoth is fully grown now. Let's go ahead and just hop off so it doesn't take damage. My chibi. <laughs> that looked really weird. Oh, man. All right, so let me let me see. Boom. Killing some fish. This is what mammoths were made for. Look at this guy. I'm actually... You know what? Can they swim? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Wait, I think we were swimming there for a second. I think we might have been. It's kind of hard to tell, though. I don't know. This water's probably not deep enough. But anyway, yeah, um, no, oh, you know what? Is it deep over here? Oh, there we go. We can swim actually pretty fast. That's, that's pretty good, actually. Didn't expect that. I mean, elephants can swim, right? So it's definitely good. Oh, I don't seem to be able to attack. Oh, I am now. Okay, I wasn't working there for a second. I think you have to kind of like stop for it. Anyway, let's see. Cactus. Oh, yeah, we can get all the cactus. Look at this guy. All right, let me start throwing some creatures around. <laughs> <laughs> this is really what the Mammoth TLC is for, though. You know, just, like, freaking throwing, like, horses and maybe Parasaurs. Yes! Yeah, so we can pick up a Parasaur. Look at this. Look at this, dude. All right, let me go ahead and roar. <laughs> dude, what is that? Oh, my God. What was that a second ago, though? What was with all that spit? That was strange. Um, Let me go ahead and kill this Parasaur now. Look at that. It's like... <laughs> Oh, the ragdoll. I love it. All right. Let me see. Let me see if we can kill this guy. Oh, first of all, I should try and roar. Get some reduced damage on him. Oh, yeah. Look at that. He's got his little thingy. Uh, it doesn't look like he's actually doing any reduced damage to me, though. Weird. All right. Let's see. What else we got? We've got some guys over here. Oh, mammoths versus paraceratheriums. Who will be the creature that people will want to have? I wonder. I really do. Um... I feel like, I don't know, both of them obviously have their own different kind of uses and everything, uh, but they're like basically the same size and probably in around the same health. I think Parasters actually have a little bit more health, but uh, yeah, let me let me see. How's that? Oh, that goes up by a good amount. I don't mess with uh, dino stats on here, by the way, so like that's actually pretty decent. It's like 500 basically per, per level. Damn. All right, stamina though. How good is the stam? Do we need extra? Let me see. We get into like a little fight with this Paraceratherium and then we'll we'll obviously know at that point. Um, okay, let's get over here. So almost there. Oh yeah, look at the size difference. Paracer is a little bit bigger, you know, body wise. Obviously its neck is, is gigantic, but uh, you know, now we have, you know, freaking elephants and giraffes. We just need the giraffe to get a nice little TLC. Um, all right, let's wait for that stam to come back though. Look at this dude. Oh, I love it. I really do. Such an awesome TLC. All right, let's get in here. We don't have full stamina, it's fine. Boom. You cannot kill me. How much is the uh, damage difference between the two attacks, actually? All right, I'm not gonna be able to hit this guy. He's faster than me. No, no, no. I was about to jump off the cliff. Okay, we're good. <laughs> All right, let's wait for some stamina, then we can fight those aloes. Uh, let's actually pump up some melee. Yeah. Nice. Look at you. <laughs> uh, we still have the wardrobe on the, on the back, by the way. We'll definitely check that out. Here we go. Little debuff for you. Oh, that radius of the debuff is not that big. So they have to be like right up in your face. Interesting. All right, let's do this. Boom. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Come on. Get back. That is a good amount of knockback, though. 
I like that. I can't obviously do anything with that. And I hit the wrong button. Oops, now they're hitting me a bunch. Uh oh. <laughs> Holy crap. Kill. Let's use this attack. This one's quicker. And it does a good amount of knockback as well, actually. Look at that. All right, that one is almost dead. Sweet. And we're good. We're not getting any of the brains, though. Come on. Give me the freaking brains. Actually, you know what? I don't I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> All right, let's see. I am still under the impression that they should actually add in the ability for herbivores. At least some of the bigger, more, you know, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. The bigger herbivores, like, it would be great if they were able to, you know, not harvest bodies, but kind of, you know, get rid of them. Because sometimes, you know, if you kill a Bronto, it can land on herbivore and then you just have no way of getting out. You just got to, like, hop off and hatch it at it or whatever. And I really don't like that. Oh my god, look at that. Damn. All right. We could probably come up with some sort of like cool game with the mammoths actually. Maybe like basketball or something. Because that throw is pretty good actually. All right, let's see. Let me fight this Bronto. Boom. Get your debuff. Oh, that didn't work on him. <gasps> Why is that not working on him? Does that not work on like big creatures? It worked on the sheep. It didn't work on the Bronto. Unless it is working on him and the little particles are just inside of him. Waiting for the stam to come back, by the way. It's taking... It's taking ages. Let's go ahead and up that to 2k. Sweet. And then the rest can go into melee. Nice. All right. We just got to wait for this to come back. Super slow. I could probably hop off and make it come back quicker, but it's fine. All right. Let's see. Let's hit this dude. Let me do a roar. That definitely uses a good amount of stam, I can see. All right. Let's get in here. Come on, Bronto. Can I pick up a Bronto? Could you imagine if they messed it up and you could? That would be amazing. All right. Are we actually... I didn't even realize if we're doing... Is he doing reduced damage to me? I can't tell. Uh, I think he might be, actually. So it did work. Um, obviously, it's just not showing. Because he was doing 50, and then it went down to 23. Unless... I don't know he was hitting differently. I'm not sure. All right, let me get in here. Come on, buddy. No, you can't run away from me. Yes, we got him. Nice. Okay, we didn't get stuck on his corpse as well. That's good. Get out of here, Lystro! I don't even want you! Oh, I meant to throw you. Okay, I gotta get used to the uh, the attacks and everything. But, um, yeah, gotta say, absolutely love this guy. Really, really nice. Saddle looks so good as well. I gotta start painting that at some point. I think it would be great if there was, like, an easier way to access the war drum if you're, like, you know, a solo person. Because uh, you, you'd have to kind of, like, go in here and then click that. Because there's, like, if I click ride back here, it's just gonna put me onto the actual mammoth. Which makes sense, but I don't know. I think maybe if you look directly at the drum, it would be good. But uh, anyway, here is the little war drum thing. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to work on your uh, friendly creatures, but it's only seeming to work on my player. You'll see it in a second. Let me turn that on as well. Boom. And we have uh, recover stamina and immune to fear roar is our little buff. So you can obviously play this while marching into battle. Um, I think it'd be cool if the mammoth kind of got like some sort of like little dance or something that it would do. I don't know. Maybe like nodding its head or something. But uh, yeah, it doesn't have any sort of like thing. You could just you just have to keep doing the song, obviously, to uh, to keep that timer up. So I think it goes up to 12 seconds in total. And then I messed it up. Or, you know, if you stop doing it, as you can see, it just kind of like wears down. So if you get in here and just do a couple beats to the drum, you could probably... Um, get the buff and then you know immediately hop off and start doing things though it doesn't really actually seem to give it to my mammoth for some reason i don't know i thought it might but i maybe that's not how it works i need to do more testing with it clearly but um yeah guys i think that's probably gonna be it for today for this video if uh if you did enjoy it go ahead do me a favor hit the like button i really would appreciate that and um yeah we're gonna be doing a video on the stego of course we're gonna be doing mutations on both of them of course so make sure that you subscribe for all that good stuff and uh once more um thanks everybody for raising all the money for charity with me i really do appreciate it it's very humbling to have such a great community and uh also check out the extinct apparel if you're interested really would appreciate that we've had really good launch day so far and um yeah thank you 